Good morning everybody, Bob Citrus Overland here. Today I want to tell you how to make a recovery kit uh, for probably under $150, around $130 actually. Uh, it's not a big fancy kit for big heavy rigs, but it works fine for a Jeep. And uh, this is what I use for a recovery kit. And this is just a canvas bag uh, from Voyager, this is a company. And be honest with you, I bought this at Rule King. It's really rugged, and it was like $12. There's no sense, I thought, of paying to have a bag that says worn on it for $90. Uh, I basically have a pair of gloves that I've had for a long time. I throw those in there, so those are like $10. This is a jump box. It's not really recovery, but I like to keep it just in case you get a dead battery on the trail, so I keep it in this bag. ARB Air Down kit is in there also. Keep my winch controller in there. Two extra D-ring shackles, which I got these for around $15 a piece, three-quarter inch. A snatch block, very important. Very, very important item to have in your recovery kit. These are about $40, and this is a 20,000 pound snatch block. Keep my air gauge for my tires in there, just for storage purposes, really. And then I got a 20 foot strap that's 15,000 pound capacity. And then this is my tree saver strap, and this has a 6,400 pound capacity. And I use this so I don't damage any trees. And then I just take all that and throw it in this little bag. My two D rings, and really, and your gloves is really the essential kit. So gloves, two D-rings, a toe strap or a snatch strap, a snatch block, and a tree saver is really what the recovery kit is. Uh, and I put this recovery kit together with the bag for around $97. And I just happen to keep all the stuff in there because I keep it in my rear seat. Now for me, I like to keep my recovery bag in the back seat on the floor. I just have room. I rarely, rarely have a back seat passenger. Uh, and it works, it's handy. This way if you get stuck, you don't have to go out, open your rear of your Jeep if you have it back there, try to dig it out. I think it's a lot easier to just reach behind the seat and grab it. So I keep a few things in there and it keeps them safe. They don't bounce around. So I use it also as a storage bag. But if you hit the trail, you could always take that other stuff out. So if you need to take this bag out, you don't have all them extras in there. But that's my recovery kit. It works very well. Might not be good for everyone, but it's what we use, and it's definitely what I use. So everybody have a great day. Be safe on the trails, and we'll see you next time.